You know, I have been watching Caitlin play since she was an eighth grader um, when I was coaching at the college realm and, and covering her games in college and just an exciting time for, for me. Um, very excited to be working with her and, and this young team. Remember when Stephanie White first spotted Caitlin Clark back in eighth grade? Now, as head coach of the Indiana Fever, White finally gets to coach the player she's admired for years. A true full circle moment. This isn't just any pairing. It's a powerful coach-player duo ready to shake up the Dowdy NBA. So how does White feel about her new star? Her admiration has only grown, hinting at a bond that could lead the fever to a championship. In this video, we'll dive into White and Clark's shared history and see how their partnership could make the fever serious contenders. Don't forget to subscribe. Let's get started. They called a lot of my games all throughout college and um... I just think she has a really great basketball mind. I think she's done a great job calling college games. It's been great to see her on NBA games. Um, I think what she's done is just, she's obviously, you know, she's been a trailblazer, honestly. Like, um, I think she's always been somebody that's been supportive of my game, and it's been fun to talk to her at shoot around throughout my college career and always been really... The Indiana Fever are on the rise, and Stephanie White is back to lead them. She's Indiana basketball royalty, returning home from a thriving career in Connecticut to her roots. From her start as Indiana Miss Basketball to leading Purdue to a national title in 1999, White's legacy runs deep. She helped build the fever from day one, and now she's back, ready to guide them to new heights. Then on to the WNBA, where after one season in Charlotte, her hometown Indiana Fever were preparing for their inaugural season in 2000. When they made their first trade in franchise history, acquiring the local legend Stephanie White. White's influence only grew from there. She joined the Fever as an assistant from 2011 to 2014, helping them win a title with icons like Tamika Catchings and Lynn Dunn. As head coach, she led the team to the WNBA Finals in her first year. After college coaching and analyst roles, White returned to the WNBA, transforming the Connecticut Sun. Over two seasons, she led them to a 55-25 record, back-to-back -back playoffs, and earned the 2023 Coach of the Year Award. For White, Indiana is home. As she says, this franchise is in my DNA. Now, she's back, ready to lead the fever to new heights. Points, um, you think back and you're like, man, that was pretty cool. It's the perfect comeback story. Stephanie White spotted Caitlin Clark back in eighth grade, and now she gets to coach her. White calls Clark a once-in-a-generation talent and is thrilled about the fever's young roster. This reunion? Caitlin isn't just great for women's basketball. She is great for the entire game. She She's more than just points. She absolutely is. I mean, let's not forget, this is a young woman who led the nation in assists as well. She's accomplished records that, that haven't ever been accomplished in the sport of collegiate basketball. With rookies of the year Caitlin Clark and Alia Boston, plus veterans like Kelsey Mitchell and Lexi Hull, White has an exceptional team. She's the ideal coach for this new era of fever basketball due to her vast experience and deep ties to Indiana. Now, she's on a mission to secure another WNBA championship for the state. And the unbelievable opportunity became available to return home, to again coach the Indiana Fever with the goal of bringing the WNBA championship trophy back to Indiana. There's more to this story than White's return. Caitlin Clark, quickly reacted to her hiring on social media, creating a buzz among fans. It's evident that White and Clark are set to make an impact with the rest of the team joining in on the excitement. If you're enjoying the video, please like, subscribe, and hit the notification bell for updates. Thanks for watching. Let's get back to the action. Clark is just at the epitome of the intersection of social media, of pop culture, and fan engagement in a way that we've never seen, and she's moving the needle forward for all athletes. You'd expect Caitlin Clark to dominate in the WNBA, but her start was rocky. Pre-draft outs and reality check warnings quickly turned into scrutiny with every missed shot and turnover, even attracting criticism from Cheryl Swoops. However, Stephanie White, the coach who has believed in Clark since her teenage years, stepped up to defend her. White wouldn't let anyone label Clark a bust. Want to know what she said? She didn't hold back. You know, looking at all these things that people are talking about with Caitlin Clark, it's like, guys, chill out. Like, she's going to be fine. Like, it's two games in. Are you kidding me? She's a student of the game. She got better every year. You, you're not going to just absorb all of the new information that's coming at you in two games, in two weeks. It takes time. 
and um, and she will. I have no doubt about it. She's a student of the game. She continues to get better. Um, and these are also points that, that coaches then address. Hey, let's continue to work on this. While others saw a struggling rookie, White recognized a fighter, a player determined not to let rough games define her. She praised Clark's basketball IQ and work ethic, noting her love for the game. White saw something many overlooked. What inspired White's confidence in Clark? It could have been her composure during tough stretches, her commitment to late-night practices, or that spark in her eyes that showed she wouldn't back down. White's defense of Clark was clear. I believe in this kid, and you should too. That faith was justified. As the season progressed, Clark not only kept up in the WNBA, but also shined, setting 62 records and earning a spot on the all the nba first team. My expectation is to be one of the best players in the world one day. I wouldn't expect anything less than that. Caitlin Clark finished up one of the most remarkable years of basketball playing up in, um, in... By the end of the season, Caitlin Clark had transformed from a rookie into a once-in-a-generation talent for the fever, exceeding all expectations. White looked like a genius for believing in her from the start. Supporting Clark from the sidelines was one thing, but now White is preparing to coach her directly. If White could back Clark so strongly from afar, just imagine her impact as her coach. The league isn't ready for what's coming. You thought Clark was impressive before. Wait until you see what Stephanie White has planned. This isn't just a typical coach-player duo. It's a powerful partnership set to outshine the competition. You know, I think the, the greatest thing is just for me, having been a part of the WNBA for 25 years, yeah. um, having worked on both sides of it in the, in the media and on the coaching realm and being a, a player in this league a, as well. Let's break it down. White isn't just another coach. She's done it all. Player, analyst, coach. Now, she's set to elevate Clark's game. Can White really take Clark to the next level? After a historic debut season, how much better can she get? White's offensive philosophy is perfect for Clark's skills, focusing on her immense potential. White will have Clark running dizzying plays, and when White spoke to Clark the night before her coaching announcement, something magical happened. This is the moment that we've been waiting for. Mm. So I don't know if you prepare for it as much as you just embrace it, embrace where we are. Think about the momentum moving forward, where we wanted this league to be and where we still aspire for it to go. Uh, and, and, and just embrace this moment, embrace this opportunity, continue to help you know, this team, this franchise be better, position ourselves for Here's where it gets exciting. White isn't just enhancing Clark's strengths. She's targeting areas for improvement like defense and shot selection the details that elevate a great player to legendary status. Just imagine what this partnership could achieve. White's expertise and Clark's talent create a game-changing duo. Think Michael Jordan with Phil Jackson. But that's just part of the story. The Fever has more talent to develop, and White has plans for everyone. Get ready, because the Indiana Fever is about to become the hottest show in town. Um, you know, certainly, I, I was born and raised in Indiana, and so have a lot of pride in Indiana basketball um, and a lot of pride in, in the FIBA organization, being a player and a coach there. Um, and, and it's exciting what's what's happening with the organization and where they are. I mean, most organizations have their their ups and downs, certainly. Um, but I'm, 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 I'm proud of, of the growth of, of the Indiana Fever. Um, excited, you know, about the future of the Indiana. Stephanie White is gearing up for a basketball revolution in Indiana. The big question is, can she turn this young squad into contenders? With Ali of Boston, the 2023 Rookie of the Year, ready to dominate in the paint and Kelsey Mitchell coming off her best season as a perfect backcourt partner for Clark, the Fever's roster is loaded with talent. Don't forget the potential of Lexi Hull, Taylor Fagley, and Grace Bear. This team has more raw talent than you'd find in a high school musical. Original clip, original clip. Let's be clear. Talent alone doesn't win championships, and that's where White shines. She's a player development guru, proven by her success with the Connecticut Sun, where she led them to back-to-back -back semifinals and earned Coach of the Year honors. Plus, she made the finals in her first year with the Fever back in 2015. You might be wondering if she can truly transform this young team into a contender. The answer is yes. White already has a game plan. She's not just focusing on Clark and Boston. She's working to unlock the potential of every player on the roster. This, she set several WNBA and rookie records during her historic first season. She was named the 2024 Rookie of the Year, of course, and her play, it really took off as the season went on, especially after the Olympic break. White has praised the Fever's strong finish last season, 
indicating a team that's beginning to click. With her in charge, exciting changes are on the horizon. She's also focused on the future, looking to leverage the eighth pick in the upcoming draft to add talent. White knows Indiana basketball well, and with her leadership, the Fever are ready to make a serious run. The rest of the Dow, the NBA, should be on alert. The, the thing that's made this Indiana team, you know, I think fun to watch for everybody is just that they play with so much joy, right? Like they, they're, they're, they're young, they enjoy the game, they have fun together. Um, and so, and they don't take things too seriously. Um, so there's, there's. The Indiana Fever are gearing up for greatness under Stephanie White. This isn't just about a new coach. It's about building a winning legacy. With stars like Caitlin Clark, Elia Boston, and Kelsey Mitchell, they're ready to make an impact in the league. White's vision is focused on long-term success, and you can feel the excitement building for a championship run. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and turn on notifications to stay updated. Catch our next video, and we'll see you there. The experience, there's no substitute for it, um, especially understanding the different level that it takes at the in, in the playoffs. I think understanding um, you know, certain time and score situations at that heightened level, um, but it's not the end-all be-all. And so, you know, we got to go out, we got to play the game, we got to execute. Um, we got to make sure that, that we, we play to our strengths on both ends of the floor um, and put our...